Hi, Dr. John with Pro Chiropractic back again. I'm here with the lovely Gina, and today we're trying to answer the question, what are those marks that you see on the Olympic athletes? And so there's been a lot of buzz going around lately, uh, seeing the swimmers and a few different athletes with these round kind of bruised looking circles on them. Those are cupping marks. And so we thought we'd do a video on what is cupping because it's something that we utilize in our office to help our athletes and our patients. So I have a cupping kit here. Uh, this is a standard oriental cupping kit. This one's plastic, but they can be made of plastic or glass. You'll notice there's several different sizes of cups to fit different body parts and different sizes and shapes of patients. If you look over here, I have these laid out like we would for a normal treatment. Uh, there is the suction handle. There's two ways uh, to apply cups. One is with suction and the other is more traditional where they use uh, um, alcohol or another flammable agent to uh, suck the oxygen out and to apply the cup. But most commonly, you'll see a cupping kit with a suction handle that is um, applied right to the cup itself at this valve. And then the cup is applied and the suction is then maintained, which we're going to demonstrate on Gina in just a second. Typically there's an emollient like cocoa butter or something like that that's also applied to create more surface tension. And so we're going to demonstrate this treatment now on Gina's arm and probably put a couple cups on so you can see what it's like. So first we'll apply some emollient. Again, this helps create better surface tension. The cup is either left on one point or sometimes it's moved around. Now, what is cupping utilized for? Cupping is a decompressive myofascial technique. So we got a clean cup here for her. We're gonna typically find an area of adhesion or restriction, a myofascial tender point or trigger point, also sometimes called a center of coordination. And so there you, you see the cup applied and you can immediately see the blood flow in that area as this pulls the layers of tissue into the cup. There's blood flow that uh, is brought to that area and also a decompressive pull against the tissue happens inside there. So underneath us, inside of us, we're like a big layer cake. There's lots of layers. Even our skin has numerous layers, but then we have layers of myofascia, a fatty layer, a deeper layer of myofascia, muscular layers. And so basically what happens is through stress or injury, we get adhesions or areas where things become fixated or locked in those tissues. Cupping helps to open up and bring healing to those areas. So you'll see the cup stays on pretty well even if she moves around. And even the cup can be slid around in an area. Greater tension can be applied if necessary to, utilize, to get the best effect from this. Now, this area is for demonstration purposes only. It's not a common area that we would use cupping on. For instance, if we were treating uh, a tennis elbow, this would be an area that we would work along with an area in the distal tricep. If we were working for golfer's elbow, we would work more at the attachment. So there's points that we would most commonly utilize this on. And to remove the cup, which is usually left on for several minutes, we just release the valve and you can see the round area there. And again, we didn't leave it on long enough to get a big bruise like you saw in the picture. We'll save Gina from that. But eventually that's what you would see in that area. Now typically, cupping is utilized with other modalities um, to try to uh, further stimulate soft tissue healing and repair. Sometimes it's combined with uh, chiropractic adjustments or other types of rehab most commonly. And uh, the type of practitioner that utilizes this is typically an acupuncturist, a sports chiropractor, an athletic trainer, or there's other specialties that like to utilize this as well. So hopefully this answers the question on what are those marks. Uh, thank you, Gina, for helping me out on this. If you have any other questions or would like to utilize this to improve your athletic recovery or performance, please don't hesitate to get a hold of us at Pro Chiropractic. Again, Dr. John Wilhelm, Certified Sports Chiropractor here in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, our information is located below. We're happy to serve you.
Have a great day.